Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this little video about the solar eclipse we just had. It was pretty strange, it was only visible in a very narrow little band uh, around the little plane we live on. It, this makes absolutely no sense and, and the funny part is uh, if you look at how uh, uh, time and date for instance uh, who um, was putting out info about the solar eclipse they, they, they put out some some pictures where you uh, where you see the moon very close and actually if you go in to see uh, what they, they say themselves how far away it is it's very much further away and and it's huge distances and it makes absolutely no sense that some people like for instance uh, in Denmark could not see the solar eclipse when the distance is so far away because how in, in beep uh, should the moon uh, with those distances pass in front of the sun so far away and you can only see it in that little narrow band that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever no matter if you are uh, still believe you are living uh, on a globe and, and viewing this uh, you must think for yourself this makes absolutely no sense and in my mind of course there's uh, absolutely no doubt uh, this is the wandering dark stars I don't know how many there are I will not uh, try to claim about there's two or one or, or more there, there could even be many more because I think actually they just are the opposite of uh, the dielectric magnetic sun and, and moon so perhaps all planets and stars have one but that's just speculation and, uh, and I have no uh, way to prove this uh, yet but but still uh, if you look at the evidence I put out and what the science uh, say themselves about the distances and and the little funny uh, how they kind of hide it it's, it's actually almost as hard to find a scale about uh, the, the, the actual distances to the sun as it is with the satellites. Uh, the, the most pictures they come up with, this is those I also show here where you see the moon fairly close to, to the sun and the sun not so far away. And that scale makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's rubbish. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little video I have uh, made about this uh, solar eclipse. There's of course a lot more to study. Um, in this matter. Uh, I added a few pictures I found on Twitter where people have taken actual pictures of it. Uh, it was funny actually because one of the live feed I, I was watching, you did not see at all uh, the, the sun go uh, slightly black or anything, uh, but in, in the live feed uh, they had a kind of a filter uh, on a telescope, so uh, there you could uh, clearly see the the eclipse. So, so it's it it, it is uh, the dark wandering stars, and that's why you you only are able to see them, these uh, so-called eclipses uh, in in very narrow locations. That's my uh, theory, uh, at least about why they behave like this. Because it makes absolutely no sense if you look at the distances. I beg you to, if you're a globe head, try to to watch this video over and over and again, and then ask yourself, this cannot make any kind of sense. I, I'm sure you will come to that conclusion also. I will stop for now and say enjoy the video and we have a lot more to explore. I'm still working on my moon special so it will come out when I'm done with it. There's still some things to polish up about that. Uh, it's a huge work I'm making. So, yep, enjoy the video and goodbye. Here's the Earth and here's the moon to scale. Now, How far away would I have to stand from the Earth for the distance to be accurate. Here. Here. No, I'd have to stand back here. <laughs> 